guys, welcome back. Today I'm here to talk about There Will Come a Darkness by Katie Rose Poole. So I was filming my wrap up and I realized I had a lot to say about this book so I thought, you know, let's just go ahead and film an individual review video for it because why not? I think this is a very anticipated book coming out this fall. Uh, a lot of people are really looking forward to it. I enjoyed it. It is not a perfect book but I did give this one four stars and I think a lot of people are really going to love it. So let's chat about it. You may have seen another video that I did inspired by this book where I gave recommendations for each of the five main characters, like book recommendations, and that was a really fun video to do. So I will link that up above if you want to check that out and I won't go in this video into too much detail about who all of the characters are because I think I talk about it enough there but I did want to talk about this book the things I loved about it and why I think it's probably going to do pretty well and whether this would be the book for you. There Will Come a Darkness is a debut YA fantasy novel that is multi-perspective. There are five main perspective characters one thing that I will say about the characters is they all feel very different. They have different characteristics, they feel like different people, it's easy to tell whose perspective you're in. And that is not an easy thing to accomplish, especially as a newer writer, so I think that's done really well. On the other hand, I do think that because there were so many plot pieces moving around in this book, it detracted from the amount of character development that I would have liked to see. I do think the characters are well created, well drawn with decent development, but I do think we could have gone deeper with them. I would have liked to have seen a little bit more from them than what we did get, but what we got is still pretty good and I understand why all of the things happening pull a little bit away from that character development. Another thing that I think this book does really well is diversity. The setting for this book is loosely inspired by the ancient Mediterranean and most of the book takes place in a port city and if you know anything about port cities you may know that a lot of different people from different parts of the world go through port cities and so they tend to be diverse populations and we do see that reflected in There Will Come a Darkness in a multitude of different ways. The main characters reflect diversity in terms of skin color and where they are from and it's done in a casual way that really makes sense for the world. I think this is a great example of how to do diversity well if you are a fantasy writer. I think she just casually includes it in ways that make sense and are rich um, but makes sense for the world that she's created. So I thought that was handled really nicely. This is also a world that is kind of casual about queerness which I really like. I tend to enjoy when authors, especially with fantasy books, include queer characters and queer side characters in a casual way that is just part of the world but where that's not necessarily the main point of the plot. One of the main characters, possibly more than one, but definitely at least one of the main characters in this book is queer and also there are quite a number of side characters who are queer and it's obvious that that's not a big deal in the world that she has created. For example, there is a male doctor who casually mentions his husband who is a ship's captain and it's obvious that nobody in this fantasy world she's created cares about who somebody is with romantically. That's just kind of a non-issue and I think that's great. The main character that we know for sure is queer in this book is Jude. And what's interesting about this book that creates conflict around him and his potential relationships is done in a really different way than what you might expect. For Jude, the problem is really not that he is attracted to men. The problem is that he's attracted to anybody because he is supposed to be the head of this hyper-religious organization that basically expects him to be celibate. And that is really where the conflict and the problem in the story for him, part, part of the conflict for him comes from. So I think that's kind of like an interesting take on this. I like the diversity, I like the way that that's handled in different ways, and I think a lot of people are going to really appreciate it. I think the world building here is pretty good. I like the way that it draws on different places. The magic system clearly had a lot of thought go into it, and it feels fresh. It doesn't feel like it's completely derivative of other things, although it's, you know, it's not like it's hard to like completely reinvent the wheel, but I think she has a different take on things that's interesting, and it's clear that she's really thought through the limits of magic in different ways and how things interact with each other. And in general this book feels very cinematic. It would be easy to see this being adapted for some sort of a screenplay and I think because of that it's probably going to be pretty commercially successful and I think a lot of people will probably 
enjoy it. There's a lot of plot to it. It's definitely more driven by the plot. I would have liked to maybe see a little bit more character development than what we got, but I think we get a pretty decent balance and I think a lot of people are really going to enjoy it. I don't know if I said earlier, but I did give this book four stars. I really enjoyed it. I think it has a lot going for it, but it wasn't a perfect book for me and so I do have a couple of minor gripes, so I'm going to talk a little bit about those. Number one, there's a lot of moving pieces here. There's prophecy and there's a lot of different players interacting together, and while I like the fact that it connects different characters and connects different pieces in interesting ways, one issue I do have with it is that a lot of the plot depends on this organization, this religious organization, making some really dumb choices in the way that they handle things. And I'm just not entirely sure that I'm sold on it making sense for this organization to make the decisions that they make in the book. I, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I think part of this just comes with the fact that it is a debut novel. She's a newer writer. I imagine that with time she would probably find ways to integrate some of those things in a way that feels a little bit more believable. You have to do a little bit of suspending disbelief that they would be so dumb. Um, but that said, I still really enjoyed this. <sighs> the other thing is there is a romance that feels a little bit rushed at the end of the book and unnecessarily so. It feels like kind of like, oh, it's a YA, we should have a romance with kissing scene, but we didn't really need it. Like I could have waited for the next book. I don't know that added a whole lot, but I'm sure some people will enjoy it. So whatever. Some people seem to be liking it in the reviews. So like that might just be me too. And one other thing is in terms of most of the plot twists that happen in here, I feel like they're pretty clearly telegraphed early on. Um, I wouldn't go into this expecting to be super surprised by anything. I wasn't. I kind of figured out a lot of these plot twists pretty early on. There were a couple of things I was a little bit surprised by that I wasn't entirely expecting, but for the most part, like, you know, which is fine. I mean, I don't necessarily read fantasy because I want to be surprised all the time by the twists and turns, but if that's something that bothers you, do know that like you 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 see a lot of it coming that said i still really enjoy this i think it has a whole lot going for it and i'm really excited to see what we get next from katie rose pool i know we're gonna get more in the series i do definitely intend to continue on and i think it's a really strong debut there's a lot of things in here that she does so well that are difficult to do especially as a new writer and so i think as she grows we're gonna get some really great fantasy from her so Keep an eye on her. Also, I think this is one that is worth picking up and one that I think a lot of people are going to enjoy. So there you have it. Those are all of my thoughts on There Will Come a Darkness by Katie Rose Poole. Talk to me in the comments down below and let me know any of your thoughts on the things that I said. Is this a book that you have read? And if so, do you agree or disagree with me? Is it a book that you plan on picking up? Let me know in the comments down below. And for your question of the day, tell me, are you more of a character driven reader or a plot driven reader? What would you prefer seeing more of in a book? Clearly, we know that I am a character driven reader. I would much rather have a lot of character development than a super fast paced plot, but you need plot too. And I know that other people feel totally different from me. So let me know in the comments down below which kind of reader you are. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.